So what we need now, we need a string and a power button. Where's the power button here? Okay, I have a string. This is a monitor, I mean a string. So where do we connect a string? Let me see. Uh, okay, here. Okay, so now what do we need? Let me check. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have to connect power here. Alright, let me see. Okay, this will reach. Okay, at least this can reach. Now we need a hard drive. And where do we connect the hard drive? What about this? Okay. I'm gonna use this drive. Okay, the drive has been connected. Now let's connect the ground to ground. Okay, the ground has been connected. Now we need a power button. Now we need a power button. Okay, I think for a power button, we'll have to remove uh, this back, back thing. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Now, where do we connect a power button? Is it here or is it here? Okay, I think we have to connect it like this. Okay, let's see. Let's see the moment of truth. Okay. All right, machine. Power supply is on. Now let's press the power button. The laptop is not turning on. Why? Why? Okay, guys, the laptop is not turning on. Let's see. Uh, I've removed the hard drive. I don't know why it's not turning on now. What, what have I done wrong? Oh, I need to connect to this. The other way around, I'm not sure. But I don't think I have to connect this like this. Oh, this is wrong. Okay, but anyway, let's see. Maybe. But I don't think so. 
let's see like this connect to the power ground to ground Okay. okay, it's not turning on. But believe me, this needs to go the other way around, up like this. Damn, damn, 100% sure. And then you put this up. Then why the machine is not turning on? Okay, I don't know why because it was turning on before and you probably have a display let me remove the string the string is out let's try the mother port alone let's try a port only let's see what do we have Okay, it's turning on. The pen is spinning. Then I guess the problem is coming from the strain. What did, what did I do wrong here on the strain? Let me check. All the pins are touching. I mean, on, all the pins are sharp. The noise not turning on. Okay, now it's connected. Let's flip the thing around. Now let's press the power button. Okay, it's turning on. Let's wait for it display. Can you believe this? There's nothing on the screen. There's nothing on the screen. The power is still on. Off. Let's turn it on again. Still, we have nothing on the screen. This PC is playing games with us. Okay, it went off. On again. It's on, nothing on the screen. Okay, let's, uh, let's turn it off. Turn off the power supply. Let's just fix this PC. It's doing some funny. 
some funny things before it was turning on i mean uh, there was a display but now it's just doing some funny things but it's easy so what we do you remove everything Let's remove the rams. And then you remove the CPU. After that, what do we do? Uh, we do a cold uh, scanning. We have to check all the power supplies turn on your multimeter okay uh what is the first step when we are dealing with a pc with no display let me remind you again step number one you press the subscribe button you go ahead and you press the subscribe button right now and i uh, thank you step number two Check the screen, replace the RAMs. I did that. The screen is sharp. You see, uh, as I told you before, it was working. And the RAM, I believe they're fine. But I'm going to change them just in case. And uh, let's continue. Remove everything and try with the port alone. I did that. The port was just alone. Where we removed all the components. It was just the port. Only I even removed the hard drive. But still, the machine didn't, send, uh, didn't show it anything on the screen so let's continue check for shorts to ground let's go ahead let's check for shorts to ground that's why i removed the cpu so that we will have a proper reading so what you do you put one prop to ground and then you test let's test to ground okay it's right sharp so now you let's check the power supplies okay here there's a low uh, there's a, it's not a short but i believe this is for a GPU. Okay. Okay. I believe this is 3.3 .3 and uh, 5 volts. Okay. How to be sure? We can be sure. Let's try to find a schematic online if we can, but if we can't, we, we can't okay so anyway let's make this thing much more easier let's look for a schematic because if we can work using a schematic i believe most of you will understand everything so easily so let's go ahead let's see, let me show you my desktop okay here we are this is a folder of schematic so what you do you search using a board number and the board number here i can see three seven seven three seven seven one e let's see if we can find something like that okay yeah here we go yes we can okay so let's go back so here i was checking pl4 and pl3 i believe pl4 and pl3 uh 3.3 .3 volts and the 5 volts i'm not sure if you can see uh you can't see this this metal part but i can see okay pl4 and pl3 i believe those two coils are output for 3.3 .3 volts and the 5 volts and uh, i checked the value there she's check it was 100 and something and that one 100 and something and i'm not happy with, with that hundred and something on those two outputs they should be like 400 500 300 at least 100 is too low so i'm going to change those components but first let's confirm if pl3 and pl4 are 3.3 volts in the five volts 
so how do you confirm you can type there pl4 we are looking for this component we are searching for this component pl4 you hit enter Yeah, but here we go. Let's zoom in. Okay, there's PL3 and there is PL, uh, where is PL4? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, there's PL3. Where is PL4 then? Oh, there's PL4 this is 5 volts always pl4 is 5 volts always and pl3 is 3 volts always the moment you connect the power the charger you will have these two out output voltages without pressing the power button so yeah guys uh these two components they have a low ibo yeah 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 they were using double mosfet here wait something is confusing me here no 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 we're using a, a single mosfet okay so what i'm gonna do let's go back na, na, ne, no no na, ne, no ne, na, na, na. okay since now we know so what you do is very 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 simple what we do what we do it's easy we have to remove all these four mosfets and then what you do you check each and every one of them see which one is causing that hundreds and something because here we should have like 400 300 even 500 not that hundreds we're getting we are getting from the meter okay so what you do you put a board aside now we check these four components that we removed there and see which one is causing uh at low value if it's not the most fed then it's easy we will go ahead and see which component is causing that okay this one is 480 let's reverse the prop you reverse the prop and see there shouldn't be any reading when we reverse because there is a diode inside and there is no reading. Let's try this. 
one two six we here we found the first bad guy let's check the other one okay no okay okay let's see let me let me repeat four eight one this one is okay obvious this one is bad the second one is bad okay let's reverse the props one two two okay okay we have the bad guys let me show you under the microscope before before someone complains or someone complains Let's have a look under the microscope. Let's check. Okay, let me check the second one. These are the bad guys. There's nothing wrong with them, but I want you to see uh, the MOSFET. Because some of you will be confused. So let me show you a MOSFET. This is a MOSFET. otherwise there's too much light let me put them here yeah boy these are mosfets there's two guys here these are mosfets and uh you have to check a number whether they are p or n but they are n and MOSFETs I, I know because why when I'm um, on switching MOSFETs they put N channel MOSFETs it's very rare to, to find P it's always N okay yeah, now it's drying out check the number there we have to check get the number there it's a uh, six five i'm not sure if you can see the number i can see a number down there yeah boy okay these are uh, uh n channel mosfets you check the last number if if it's a uh this one is six six it was five six nine zero it's an even number check the last number whether it's, it's odd number or whether it's an even number but this one the last digits on the four digits is the the even number or you can see yeah you can see a little bit this is a mosfet it just looks like this so we have to change it we have to change those mosfets i'm looking for a donor pot okay here we go you can get components from any mara pot okay this two here i have this two here uh okay okay let's leave this okay let's check this two here i will check them we have to check them for let's see this two you check them out and then you check them
don't use force yeah. and you can use 350 to remove components even high sometimes but depending on the board be careful not to burn components and not to destroy a board Okay, these two are out. Okay guys, now let's check this two guys. Head on your meter. Make sure it's on the continuity mode. Okay, 499, this is good. You reverse to check whether the diode inside is still fine. Yeah, fine. Okay, this one there. What about this? hundred and eighty nine no hundred and forty this is bad i won't be using this it means we'll have to remove another one let's try this Okay, this is out what about this let's try this we have to take two in case if one of them is bad all right here we are let's check them Four nine two. Okay, this is fine. What about this? No reading. Let's reverse the probes. Four eight two. Okay, sharp. I will use this, guys. Let's put this back fast. finish this fast fast so what we do you can uh you can put flaxy if you don't mind if i don't mind i'll put flaxy so you have to be careful of a cheap alignment you know where the dots is uh, be very careful okay this one 
just goes the other way around. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. so guys you can use alcohol to clean where you were working i don't like to leave boards with flaxy it drives me crazy i don't like that at all and i will check where i was using correct mosfet today but yeah i think i was using n channel mosfets 
uh, I think that's what they were using as well from the initially. Was that uh, okay? I'm gonna check for you. Okay, let's check for uh, now. Let's check. Oh, wait, first I have to check, I have to make sure that I used the correct MOSFETs. Yeah, I believe I used correct MOSFETs. Okay, but it still hot. Let's wait for the pot to cool down and then I'll I'll check again. Um then I think the pot is now cooled down, but I'm pretty sure the, the values would change unless if there's something else dropping down that's uh that's power rail, those two power rails of which is can be achieved because it's the only thing that can cause low resistance on both uh uh mm. on both power rails 3.3 and 5 volts okay 1.20 or about the other one One point twenty. okay i made a mistake i'm gonna tell you the mistake that i did when i was changing this I'm gonna tell you now. Okay, let's see. I was supposed after removing the MOSFETs, I was supposed um I was supposed to check for shorts after removing um, not for short but for the values again and see uh how much i'm getting on those two power rails and uh badly i didn't check now we can order we can tell whether one of the mosfets again uh dropped or so or so ever but it's clear it's clearly that something is dropping down uh the whole power rail so what i'm gonna do now you connect a fan you know i'm connecting a fan right wanna be sure okay yeah i wanna be sure that we didn't uh damage uh the pot by changing those uh mosfets but yeah we didn't because we know what we are doing right but the port will turn on if it turns on then we'll, we'll continue later okay let's press the power button yeah it's turning on meaning everything is fine okay everything is fine it means yeah we didn't damage the board do we did a good thing but it's still turning on
operating system not found hope you can see here 